Well, computer can't handle it, but that was the maiden from the uh, the Glide Hammer build the other day. Thanks for coming. My name's Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti. And uh, today, we're going to do a quick one. Uh, we're going to finish up in stark contrast to the... Uh, in stark contrast to the, the heavier Glide Hammer builds, this is going to be the lightest weight um, Glide build that I've ever done. Uh, not the lightest possible, but the lightest for me. Uh, and what I mean by that, let me just get the volume turned down a little bit here. Uh, what I mean by that is, uh, this is going to be the lightest Glide build I've done in the standard uh, 5mm thick arm frame. Uh, Bob does sell a 4mm arm version of it called the Glide Light, which also has a thinner base plate and a thinner uh, top plate, but I'm, I, I just don't think that that one's going to, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that that one's not going to put up with the uh, the abuse that I typically uh, put out during flying sessions, because I crash a lot, and when I crash, it's usually pretty spectacular. So uh, yeah, this will be kind of cool. Um, I'm very interested to see how much weight, the only real difference here is I'm going down to a lighter FPV camera and I'm going from the Akon 30x30, AK32, to the 20x20. Um, other than that, it's kind of an identical build. The Emacs Eco motors that I'm putting on it weigh, um, I think, pretty much exactly what the T-Motor F40 Pro 2s do, um, since they're both 2306s and they're both designed to be lightweight. So, yeah, I think it'll be pretty... Uh, I, my my assumption is that it's going to drop a little bit less than 20 grams. Um, if it's not quite that much of a weight drop, that's fine. Um, but that should put it below 600. So that'll be kind of exciting. I, I haven't had um, like a primary rig under 600 grams in a hot minute. So uh, Panic FPV says, I had my first flight ever yesterday and loved it. It was line of sight and was more than I thought. LOL. Awesome, Panic. Keep going, man. Just keep going. Just do it. Uh, Athic says, did you see what happened to Clifton? I did not. Clifton who? Um, if you need to post a link, let me know, Athix. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I did see the stupid Detroit bullshit. Um, that's really aggravating. If, in, in, um, maybe that's Clifton. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's get over the bench and, and start doing some work. Uh, I'm probably gonna miss chats today. Um, uh, just not in a great headspace, but we'll get there. We'll get some work done, and uh, we'll get this wrapped up, and I'm hoping to have a big weekend of flying, and uh, uh, I want to try to get at least one review video done. Um, yeah, so it'll be a good weekend. Um, Max FPV says, what do you think of this setup for my first 5-inch 6S rig? <laughs> Hit me with it, Max. Send it to your Facebook. All right. Let me see. Let me see. I hope it's not something sad. Hold on a second. Hmm. That's weird. Huh. Ugh. I hate the the drama and shit. I I'll read this later. Ugh. I hate when stuff gets in the way of. I don't know. All right, moving on. Uh, what it looks like is that um, Dominic Clifton, uh, who created, was it Clean Flight, I believe? Uh, it looks like he's not going to be a part of uh, the Beta Flight team anymore. So, I'm not going to get into anything beyond that. I'm not even going to read the article right now, but um, yeah. Let's move on. Mex, hit me with that um, setup, and I'll give you my opinions. Why is there a hole there? Why didn't anybody tell me about this? That looks ridiculous. That can't be there. I can't.
can't see this side. I don't think this side's like that. That's OBS is too. There's not enough latency. Can't see it. Not gonna be able to see it. That's okay. Uh, Gepar C Mark IV. I don't know anything about that. Uh, Akon twenty by twenty stack. Hell yeah. Zing uh, E twenty three zero six. Hell yeah. Cadex Rattel. Eh. Thousand uh, milliamp six S Ovonix. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> close shape for the prop. Uh, yeah, I, I can't speak to the uh, to the Gepar C thing. Um, but yeah, it always has been. I've I've always shaved. Um, I've always shaved over here. But um, I was trying to leave it. I was trying to leave it uh, down here to make like a shadow for that, you know, draw line kind of shit. But uh, I didn't notice there's a <laughs> straight up hole in it. <laughs> um, yeah, Cadex Rattel, I'll only say this about because um, I've heard Nightmare Story. Lots and lots of, like, an abnormally high amount of. Um, nightmare stories about them freezing up or failing right out of the box um so yeah i would uh, for me it's it's run cam or nothing else plus the the uh, the catic stuff has a really hard time some of the catic stuff has a really hard time with the uh the rapid fire <clears throat> and you'll have to change from rapid fire one to rapid fire two or maybe even to legacy and that's just a huge pain in the ass so i've i've kind of moved over to run cam uh just top to bottom whatever Whatever run cam sells, like that's that's just what I'm gonna get. I, I don't, I'm not bouncing back and forth between you know run cams micro CMOS to Fox Ears uh, micro CMOS to Cadex's micro CMOS. Um, it, it's just you know, for example, right now run cam has two CMOS cameras, uh, the Racer two or the Racer three, which is what I'm actually putting in this build over here, uh, and the Oscar. Uh, Liang Phoenix, or I guess it's just called the Phoenix now, uh, which I have here, so that, you know, it's like, oh, I need a new camera for the rig, which run cam camera am I going to get? But no wrong answers. If, uh, I've heard, I've also heard really good things about the Caddox Rattel, so, uh, take this all with a grain of salt. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Hopefully I do, though. Build some shit. Uh, I think I can turn the music up a little bit more here. Uh, so this is royalty-free music, and I haven't played any MC Hammer songs yet, so I can actually monetize this stream, which is weird. Uh, but first, I gotta go feed the cat. Hold on. Feeding the cat consists of making his food with the special powder to replace his fucked up pancreas and then letting it sit for 20 minutes for the enzymes to do things and then coming back after 20 minutes to put his food into down on the ground where he can get it. Um, uh, Leaderbox says the FAA, the FAA is still pushing the remote ID, the remote ID crap really hard, unfortunately, especially due to the virus. FAA will get with it, unfortunately. Um, and then if Rotorite and company would stop with their BS handshakes, it might help. Eh, I don't really believe in that. I, I don't personally believe that Rotorite has anything to do with any of this stuff. Um, I think they're just doing their thing, and, and people like to make the drama around them just because they're the biggest group. Um, I've kind of seen this in, in every hobby I've been in, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think Rotorite's completely fine, and they... they are doing really good things, and then um, it just gets people just manage to twist it up and, into some hype train thing that you know to get themselves noticed, um, which sucks. I they, like I said that this has kind of happened in every hobby that I've ever been in is that there's there are just people who um, don't have any talent but demand to be be famous. Um, uh, talent's not the right word, but um, th they're not good at any of the, the positive things, so they just target the negative things, and um, yeah, and, and 
then when you've got an entity like Rotoriot, and then you've got all of these people uh, targeting the wrong things, it's very easy for them to twist stuff up. And it's the, you know it's it's the kind of thing that happens like when a hobby is very small, um, and then it's and then um, and then it blows up, and it it almost never blows up, and, and is this like is and is as pure as it was when it was uh, when it was small. So I don't know. Is what it is. Doesn't matter. We are the collective. We are above the drama. And let me know how the levels are. Um, actually, the levels will probably be better once I move over here, which I am now. And all right. So let's get some work done. All right. Public flying too much. Most people want more, leader. Oh, look at that yellow. I didn't even, I didn't even look at the uh, the yellow kicker light. Oh, that's kind of nice. It, I was worried it would look kind of sickly, but that's not bad. And I just looked directly at it, so now I can't see anything. But hmm. it's better than I thought. Oh no, nope. I want to go down, not up. There we go. That'll run for a while like that. Okay, so let's. Go to the right camera. <laughs> All right, yeah. Let me know how the levels are. If uh, if if you guys, <laughs> Chad says, do work, son. Do work. <laughs> uh, Ken Hill wants the bit. Well, here I'll um once I'm working at the bench, Ken. The 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 mic is like right in front of me, uh, so it should be, uh, hopefully, now it should be better. Uh, but if it's not, tell me. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I got I have a strange microphone set up here. I. Uh, I don't know. I'm tempted to get a, uh, a boom arm and uh, and pull the um, and pull the boom arm around with me, but uh, I'm trying to keep this set up uh, as slim down as possible. Okay, let's get to soldering. Uh, these these feel really long. So these fellas are going on, which weirdly already have. Um, what are these called? Race wires on them. Uh, I don't know what color they are. I think they're white because I think when the, um, I think when the, yeah, you guys can't see it, but the inside of the LED is yellow here, and then usually like when the LEDs are colored, they're not yellow like this. So I think I think these are white. Every time I've ever seen a white LED, it's been yellow on the inside, which is an interesting. Um, words elude me. Words are hard, guys. I don't. Uh, I don't think you quite realize how hard words are when you have to say them aloud. It's a real challenge. It's very challenging. Um. I thought I might have had some weirdness with this RXSR, or maybe it wasn't this one, it was another one, but while I'm waiting for the soldering iron to come up to temperature, let me just give these guys a little tug, just to kind of make sure that they're still connected. Yeah, it looks fine. We'll be alright. Everything's fine. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, a lav is is an interesting option, Daniel. Um, Dan, rather, it. Uh, I gotta wear a mic pack. I don't know. I don't know. Th this setup seems to work, sorta. <laughs> I mean, it's not perfect, but like, I, I feel like you guys can hear me, which. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I just I I also have a little bit of a different scenario in that I'm trying to move around. Um, most people just sit right in front of it, right in front of the ca of, of one camera the whole time. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Labs with mic packs are also expensive, uh, which is a big turnoff for me, of course. All right, so let's remove these ecos from these unknown race wires. I also need to cut 
these um, down a little bit. I was hoping that these would line up properly, but it's just not quite right. Not quite the right length for the glide arm. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to shorten these, which is really annoying because it's, it's, it's a whole bunch of work for kind of... It's just like, it's like, like repeat work. <laughs> like, you get done with it and it's just like, oh, everything looks exactly the way they did at the beginning. But I just worked for four hours on something. But hey, sometimes you got to do that, man. Sometimes you got to just work your balls off. I don't know where that's going. Uh, I shouldn't have commented on Rotor Riot. That was stupid. I, I, apologize if I apologize if I started a war or opened any wounds over there in the chat. But I did see that you guys were still talking about it. Um, I will leave it there in the interest of just, like I said, not... Um, just completely distancing ourselves from any drama that could suck the positivity out of this hobby or just life in general. We will just let it go. We, we will be, we will swallow hard and just move on. Okay, uh, why don't I point the camera so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. That'd be kind of cool, right? <clears throat> uh, Logitech camera settings are broken. Let's quit them and restart. Come on, Logitech. Come on, Logitech. Come on, Logitech. Come on, Logitech. There we go. All right, look at that, man. Look at us getting fancy. Uh, Athix says, some things come easy to people that are hard for others to get. Just keep that in mind. What are we, what are we referring to, Athix? Um, let me turn the bench mic up a little bit just to make sure there's enough there. The problem is when I get really loud and scream right in front of the bench mic, which, I mean, it doesn't happen often, but it's, uh, it's got the potential to happen at any time. <laughs> um, okay. What am I doing? Let's just do this motor. Let's just get this motor done. I don't know what color these are. I'm, I'm just going to put all of these. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put all these on. However many good ones I have, I'm just going to put on. And whatever color they are, they are. <laughs> and then, if I have to remove them down the road, I will. All right, I don't have to cut these very... I don't have to cut much off of these. Which is nice. Uh, building, flying, etc. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree. I'm not sure where that came from, um, but that's kind of one of the reasons I started doing this. Um, this being the stream. Uh, I, I wanted to be a, another resource for people uh, who are you know, just getting into it or whatever, or, or having problems wrapping their head around beta flight or, um, builds or how to make their stuff fly better, longer, harder, that kind of thing. Right. Um, and I'm, I hope I'm doing a good job. I hope you're not saying that, um, that I'm not doing good a job of that, a good job with that or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, that's why I'm here, man. I believe me. I, there's, uh, like this has been a super fun journey, but it's it's different to um, it's different to sacrifice family time for for this. Um, not difficult. Difficult is not the right word, but it's it's uh, yeah. All good things require some sacrifice, I think. And. Uh, 
I'm very lucky because you guys make this easy. Um, you guys make it easy for me to come here and hang out. Um, I'm not necessarily someone who has ever wanted to be in front of the camera. Um, I've kind of been okay about audio only. Uh, back when I was doing radio in, at university, I never really had a stage fright with, with radio issue, but uh, never really wanted to be in front of the camera for a litany of different reasons. But sometimes you just got to suck it up and, uh, and do the things that you don't want to because they can lead to awesome shit. And uh, this certainly has. Um, I'm, like I said, very, very lucky to, uh, that, that you guys were so accepting of me and, uh, and continue to be. And I don't take that lightly. All right. Let's get this in front of the camera for you guys. to find a better spot for this little I want this to be on the right side I've never quite gotten this desk layout perfect it's always been kind of it's always been really close but not quite where I want it to be and uh, with the addition of lights in this camera, it's become kind of more important uh, to figure out how to get it correct. Because it's, uh, it's harder than you'd think to, to get the... It, it's just been... I never thought it would, would be hard at all to, to make the workbench, like, filmable and also useful. But uh, it's kind of tough. It's it's hard. It's also hard to get a camera in a spot where it's not like all thumbs and it's not all like the tops of my hands. Like I'm pretty sure this camera setup is as good as it's ever gonna get, and I still don't love it. Like I I still wish it could be a little bit better for you guys, but I just don't know how to do that. Like I've tried the overhead thing. I mean, I almost feel like. There might actually not be a solution, um, uh, just because I don't have someone to sw like. Like I think the the only real way to do it is to have would be to have somebody on a uh, a control panel switching between two cameras. I think we would need this one and the uh, the top down with uh, yeah with like a person switching between them. Which I mean, you never know, right? <laughs> I mean, if it, if it had kept, if, if this whole thing had kept growing the way that it did in the first, like, two months, shit, we might be there already. <laughs> um, yeah, those, those days are, that was a, that was a crazy time. Crazy time those first couple months. I was, like, starting to panic because it was, it was picking up so fast. I was like, dude, I'm not, I'm not ready for this. It was good that it slowed down, but. We got to get it sped back up at some point here. I'm hoping the reviews are what's going to do that. Uh, thanks for that, Big Willie. Yeah, this is a standard. Um, and it, they're actually not Hyperlite anymore. They are FPV Cycle. Uh, Bob is now making them completely on his own. Uh, so it's considered an FPV... This is considered an FPV Cycle Glide. Uh, FPV Cycle being the website where you can buy it from and the designer and now the manufacturer who is Bob Ruby, Kebab FPV. Great guy, makes fantastic frames, and uh, does a lot for the community. A guy that, that you really want to sort of be behind. Um, if you're looking to, to back the, the people who are pushing innovation uh, and trying their best to, to stay out of the drama, which, my God, Kebab does a, a good job of. He gets... He, he's just like, people love to talk shit on him and, and correct him and, and like, I get it. I get that we want to have good info, but when he says 13 times at the beginning of his video, 
hey, this is just my opinion. This is only my opinion. This is not based in fact. If he's doing one of these videos where he's just um, kind of exploring things, then, you know, don't bitch and moan if <laughs> if he doesn't get the facts absolutely perfect. He fucking warned you. He warned you, bro. Look at your panties in a bunch. It's probably a sexist... Uh, it's probably a sexist thing to say, isn't it? Because that's like saying that... I mean, on one hand, it's just saying that... Potentially you like wearing uh, female undercrackers, which... You know, you do you. But uh, at the same time, I guess it's kind of saying that... Um, I don't know what it's saying. <laughs> All right, undercrackers. That's right, I said undercrackers. I said it. I watch a lot of BBC television. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, as I'm putting this on, I want to try to get this... Nah, this is stupid. Why, why am I doing this now? I need to get this guy to lay down. The There is kind of like a... Uh, if, if you push it down, like... See how this is... It's flat, like, when it's sitting up like that, but then when I push it down, it kind of rotates. So, like, if you make sure that you... That you solder them the way that they're... Ha like, the way that it's rotated when it's laid down like that, that wire is going to want to stay down. Um, which is more important than you'd think when you're just bombing through branches of leaves and shit, bouncing off of them. Um, little stuff like having these wires tucked in better makes a difference. Um, so try to do that. And th these are kind of beat. Like, I should probably desolder these and switch them. But I'm not going to do that. You guys know I'm not going to do that. But I am going to try to keep this wire rotated in this direction so that it sits down real nice. Let's see if it works. All right, give it a second. Kebab sucks. <sighs> Freelojo says, Kebab's customer service is incredible. FTV Cycle customers for life. Um, yeah, the, him and... Um, oh, fuck, I forgot the name of, uh, of his buddy that's helping him run the shop. Um, but they're doing a fantastic job. They really are. And, and I mean, <clears throat> like, I know people are getting frustrated that, that stuff is sold out a lot. But, like, what's the solution, right? Like... He made a really good product that everybody wants. Oh, damn. Right? What, like, it, it's it's a good problem to have. I, I know it's frustrating and all, but, like, um, yeah, I don't know. What do you want from me? What do you people want from me? Leave me alone. Uh, I am going to redo this one because it is, like, way too short. So let me just get a piece of 20. Oh, God. What happened here? What? There's, like, 80 things. All right. This is that. So T Motor is making their own 20 gauge now. So on the on T Motors, you you guys won't be able to see it, but the the little bit of white writing on the black wire there says T dash motor. Kind of cool. You know you've made it when you have your own 20 gauge. Customized 20 gauge, bro. Get at me. What the fuck am I saying today? <clears throat> I was just watching my guy Jimmy Broadbent. On YouTube, do a little streaming. Love that guy. Anybody know who that is? <clears throat> if you do, I'll be shocked. Uh, what time are you soldering at? Ken Hill asks. I am at 6.66 right now. <laughs> uh, I've been moving around. So my, my old iron didn't have a, a thermostat in it. Uh, so basically, the, the name of the game was Turn It Up As High As It'll Go. And, uh, just pray. So, so, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm bouncing up and down and up and down and up and down lately to, um, get a feel for what I like. Because turning this thing all the way up with the thermostat is, is actually too much, which is crazy. I didn't think there was such a thing. Um, no, I did know there was such a thing because I have one of those, uh, like $8, um, I don't even have a temperature knob soldering irons from uh that you just hook up to like an xt60 right so I, I knew it was possible to uh to have an iron that went too hot but my god this thing up at uh 
don't know what the max is. I had it up at 700, and it was just crazy. Like, it, it blew through a 16-gauge... Uh, a um, on this one, actually, it, it liquefied this whole battery pad in, like, one second. It was, cr it was just madness. So... <laughs> nice leader buck. Yeah, I tend to, um, uh, due to guidance from my father, an electrical engineer for 30 plus years, um, I tend to, to go lower than higher. Not like as low as I can go, but, um, low, uh, just so that I have more time to, just in case I have more time to work. Um, obviously keep in mind that you don't want it too low. But, uh, yeah, a lot of good tutelage from that guy and tips and tricks and I, uh, I don't use all of them, uh, because one of the things that he taught me is to sort of be realistic. If, uh, you know, when, when he was work, when he was, uh, when he was working on tokamak fusion reactors, it was, uh, he would his quality of work was a little bit different than when he was at just home when he was home just fucking around, and uh, that's one of the things he taught me is just you know understand like so specifically for us it's kind of like well yeah it's gonna fly, it's important to do a decent job but um, for me, Aaron, uh, I'm also gonna bash it into shit and have to tear it apart all the time so it's uh, I kind of I have a I um, try to balance uh, doing it the right way, doing it the perfect way versus doing it good enough versus rushing through stuff. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's, a, it's kind of a moving target, which makes it a little difficult, but it's a fun little like meta. It's, a, uh, it's sort of the, the hobby within the hobby in some weird way. But yeah, when in doubt, uh, and my def my default mode is to take forever and and do things like just painstakingly, excruciatingly um, proper, and then my demon is uh, trying to keep that under control uh, because it already takes me forever to get builds done. Um, it doesn't need to take even longer. <laughs> like, there's, uh, yeah, I just need to get it done sometimes, and I'm not good with that. But hey, nobody's perfect. Nice. <laughs> Leader buck went from the worst solder ever to the best by just learning about flux. Hell yeah, man. Flux pens for life. That was, so when, um, when Joshua invited me to the, uh, the quad camp at, at his house way back when um, to uh, to be an instructor or whatever um, <laughs> nobody had flux and I was horrified <laughs> I just like walked around with my flux pen fluxing people's stuff for them hang on a second guys All right, RC Mask Master is up at 1 a.m. watching, but he's bailing. What do you guys have to say about that? <laughs> Thanks for hanging, Masked. Um, I'm going to try to do, well, I'll see you Sunday. Uh, Sunday, I'm going to do 3 o'clock um, as usual, and uh, next week, every week, I'm going to try to get at least one or two earlier uh, streams in for you UK folks uh, trying to be a a global citizen slash streamer slash um, just general bad human being so you know get on it I'll see you then is what I meant to say not get on it that makes no sense at all 
More solder needed. Yoink! Oh god. Almost knocked it over. Uh, speaking of the flux pen, get up here, flux pen. Alright. Making my little solder spinny wheelie thing that I always do here. With the flux pen. All right, back in business. Let's get this tinned and get it stuck down to the ESC. ESC being an Akon AK32, 20 by 20 this time. Um, I have a funny feeling that it might be a little bit less durable than the 30 by 30. Um, but uh, yeah. We'll find out. We will find out. 250! Okay. Should that be my new thing? Should I just randomly scream out random numbers? As opposed to randomly screaming out non-random numbers. Oh, wait. No, I guess it is two separate things. Look at that. Don't always trash on yourself. Sometimes you get it right. Sometimes you get stuff right, guys. your ledger had to specify only for people going to bed if you're not going to bed then no good luck for you fuck you if you're not going to bed <laughs> funny 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 i'm a funny guy okay get on there fella stay on there until i convince you to come off Ooh. Ooh. i wasn't going for such a pretty joint but you know sometimes Sometimes you just gotta piss greatness. What? <laughs> My apologies to everyone for that. That was a an odd turn. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's not stop peeing greatness quite yet. Let's keep going. What if you already in bed? LOL says John Dyson. Then get the fuck up. <laughs> Big Willie just got up from his old guy nap. Ugh, I'm very jealous of that, my man. I tried, but it just wasn't in the cards today. That's okay. How about that? Can you guys see that? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh, Royalty-free music for the first time in this stream's history. Uh, somebody mentioned the other day, why don't you monetize? And I explained why. But then, the more I thought about it, the more I realized, well, I haven't even tried. So, fuck it, we'll try. Um, yeah, what the hell, right? Never know. 10,000 people watch the stream, I'll make 100 bucks. What's wrong with that? Okay, this is being a jerk. So, let's just get it going. Tried to do the right thing and flatten it out, but it just wants to be a jackass, so... I'm just gonna... Attack. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I don't want to make that same mistake. I want to lay that down like this. See the way that this is rotated. And then that's how I want to solder it. So that means sideways like this. Oh, come on. Yeah, see, that was probably really loud, right? I mean, I hope it wasn't, but I'm pretty sure it was. Come on. Stop untwisting yourself, you jerk. There we go. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Going in wet and hot. Hot, wet summer. Soldering. Come on. Ah, not quite there. Not quite flat enough. We need to go in hotter and wetter. 
I wonder if I can just hold it like that. About to find out. Oh, that's better. Felt it flatten. And it's kind of sticking to the rubber, which is a little weird. Uh, I want to try to get it off that rubber. That's a little weird that it's turning the corner like that. That's better. Yeah. Again, less than perfect, but it'll be alright. It'll be alright. It'll be alright, guys. It'll be alright. Okay, leave it pushed down in the back there, and I kind of want to shorten this one, but it'll be alright. Maybe I'll pull the, uh, maybe I'll pull the race wire towards the uh, end of the arm to make up some of the gap. There we go. Being as careful as I can not to pinch this wire so much that I pinch through the silicone. Silicone. Why are these inner ones so short on all these? What the fuck did I do? I have to do this again. God damn it. Very strange. Very strange. Let's see if the uh, scrap from this one is going to be long enough. Hey! Look at that. Bonus. Uh, we had bats here until the owls... <laughs> the owls saw them off. Uh... Wow, the volume even when I scream is fine. Well, that's good. I'll start screaming more. Uh, somebody give me a reason to scream at obscenity. <laughs> uh, this song. How is this song royalty free? No shit. I think there might be an edit that I can make monetized, people. Poop a poop a poop. Biggest chicken bird of them all is a crow. <laughs> Dogs aren't scared. I am, dude. I am so terrified of the day that I kill a bird. That like I might straight up just quit. Um, cause that's fucking sad, yo. The the seagulls used to freak me the fuck out at the beach. That was one of the reasons I didn't fly at the beach all that much, cause it, it was just like I just like felt it coming, kind of thing, like. Yeah, I don't know. Any bird, though. My god. The day that one of us hits one and it just fucking implodes. Because you know that they'll implode. You know that a, a 600 gram chunk of fucking carbon and death versus a fluffy fucking hollow boned bird is going to be an instant death sentence. And if you don't know that, then you're, then you're kidding yourself and you're living in a world of make-believe. Like, that's, that's gonna be hard. Like, I'm talking, like, life-changing horrifying. Like, you will dream that you are that bird. And here comes Joe Bob shitbag human with his flying fucking toy for no reason. You're just trying to get to work. Working on the... Working on pooping on some people, you know? That's your whole job, is just to take dumps on tourists' lunches. And some jackass comes through at 80 miles an hour with 12 knives and just annihilates your whole bird body. Come on. Where's the justice in that? Look at that solder joint, boys. Look at the greatness. <laughs> uh, I wonder if bats would be better. I, I wonder if like bats' sonar or their reaction speed, reaction time rather. I wonder what at like. I wonder what. I'd love to see like a chart of uh, the reaction speeds of of different vermin. No, not vermin. Different uh, animals. I just wanted to say vermin. 
That'd be kind of cool to see, right? Because, like... Like, compared to my reaction speeds... There's a, a, a house cat in here that... I swear to God, he's he's got to be, like, triple the speed. And I got thumbs. Come on. Um, I know one of the things that affects it, which is fucking fascinating, is, like... Like, if the... the the less the less there is going on between the nerve endings I guess not necessarily nerve endings but the sensory input right because it could be like vision it could be hearing something dangerous it could be feeling something dangerous the uh, the less there is between that input and I guess the muscles the better, so I assume that the dumber the animal, the quicker the uh, the reaction time, maybe. I'll bet that humans' reaction time is like fucking dead last, because everything's got to th go through a, a goddamn committee in our head before we act on it. You guys are talking about birds. Oh, really, Roscoe? Oh, my God. I can't believe... I can't believe a bird survived a, uh, a run-in with a 5-inch rig. That's... That's pretty gnarly. Damn, dude. That's a... That bird's a fucking beast. <laughs> Jesus. What you guys got planned for Friday night? Anything? Going out for a night on the town to get uh, coronavirus, I hope not. Anyone? Stay the fuck inside, people. When a house catches on fire and the flames are at their tallest and they just barely start to go down a little bit, I hope you wouldn't go running into that house. So, don't go running out into public in the same scenario, but with a virus that can kill you and your entire family. Don't be stupid. Sorry if that's offensive to anyone, but the truth hurts, and if you're scared, you should go to church. Which I'm sure you will if you're scared. I'm sure you will. Uh, let's get this motor on here. Uh, let's put this freshie back here. I like to put the fresh motors on the back arms so that they last a little bit longer. <laughs> the beat to shit motors go on the front arms. To take the, uh, the lion's share of the abuse, as they say. Why is it? What is the deal with it? Why is this so like sticky and gummy and fucking rotatey? What's going on with this? Okay. So now let's just line this up and get a little choppy. Jesus, why is this not stripping? Help me out here, wires. What do you guys want to see this weekend? Editing? Fixing? Scratch builds? Uh, what else can I do? Sim time? What do you guys want? I gotta start doing what you guys want, not what I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, Daniel Maurer with the, the polite way of saying that it should be online. Yeah. Hang on a second. Uh, John Dyson asks when the build-a-thon is. I don't know, man. Um, if I'm gonna do that, I should do it with, like, some sponsors and shit like that. So, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I... <laughs> Tomorrow? Okay, cool. We'll just do it tomorrow. Uh, how about this? Next uh, next rainy day. That's that's actually... That's how I should do it. Uh, we'll do like a rain a build a thon Or something like that. Uh, that would be... Yeah. That would be dope. So next utterly miserable day here... That uh, I'm not as miserable as the weather... I'll do, uh, maybe I'll start it off with like an eight hour, see how that goes, and then <clears throat> maybe the true build-a-thon, like a, t a, a 12 hour, uh, maybe I'll do that with sponsors or something like that. What? Perfect. Know what I mean? Uh, Panic loves building videos. Well, you came to the right place, Panic. Because it's all I do. And I do it away from the camera so that you guys can't see the mistakes that I'm making. Uh, um, <laughs> it's hard when uh, the, the camera is zoomed, like digitally zoomed all the way in right now. And, like, my window of, uh, space where things will actually show up on the camera is so small when it's like this. It's a challenge, but, hey, man, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I try not to say things that mean nothing like that, but they just pour out of my mouth, like... Something that pours. Get in there. Can you guys see past my fingers? Probably not, right? Oh, looks like you guys kind of can. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going in hot and wet, guys. God damn. I'm just going in hot. Going in hot and dry. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna get sued. Some of these kids gonna be watching. They're gonna file a lawsuit against me for saying hot and wet too much. I'm not making it like an R rated channel or some bullshit that I'm sure I forgot. Alright, those three are on there. Uh, I can, Leader Buck, although I can only do it from the laptop. Uh, the. The tower strikes again, and uh, the uh, the ROTG thing just doesn't work on the tower. It just refuses to. I spent like two hours last yesterday, last night, trying to get it to work, and just I I'm I just want to stab a gorilla. Um, so yeah, it's gonna have to wait, unfortunately, until I get all up to speed and switched over to the laptop. But it'll be worth it because it, lo it actually looks really good. Um, and it actually goes directly into OBS, just like I thought it would. Um, on the laptop, you just launch OBS, plug the damn thing in, and it's there. Uh, so, yeah. There's that. And, like, the, the user base for the device is so small that there's, like, no technical info out there on, on how to get it working on the tower. Um, so, yeah. Not gonna happen. 
on a second, guys. I'm coming back in a sec. There we go. Uh, yes, you can do it from a phone. You can do it from... Um, I don't think you can do it from iPhones, though. You can only do it from Androids. Uh, but if there is a way to do it from iPhones, uh, that would be terrific. Because I would just go out and do that. And it'd be great. But I don't think there is. Alas, I don't think there is. Uh, okay. Let's get some of these screws rammed in here. Let's just do this big fat one. Just one for right now. That'll be fine. Ooh, look at that. It goes through the perfect amount. Shit, yeah. <clears throat> the, uh... The stator base on these eco motors are. Uh, I have the O2, uh, the diversity one. Oh, hey, speaking of, uh, does anybody have um, uh, RP SMA antennas or a patch, uh, Omnis or a patch that they don't want? Uh, maybe like if you used to be using Ishin goggles and now you're on Fat Shark and you didn't sell them with your Ishin goggles and you don't want them or something like that. Um, let me know, because the ROTG 2014 uh, 11D, 3V, 17, uh, it is RPSMA. Because reasons, I guess. Okay, so this needs to come off here. And we're going to put it on the front. Uh, the little video I was trying to play at the beginning, can't believe I'm just remembering this now, but, uh, the little video I tried to play at the very beginning was the, uh, the, the glide hammer that we finished up yesterday, maybe the day before, and, uh, yeah, it flies really good. It, it's, it's, it's fat. It's a, it's a fat girl, but, um, it flies really good. She's big boned, but that's okay. Uh, it feels great, and it, it's the um, with the 5146 props, <clears throat> which are not as heavy as these crazy like 5055s and 5249s and all these wacky, crazy high pitch props I've been playing with. Um, the T motor 5147 props are much much lighter, and my God, with the with the twenty four, uh, um, what size are those motors? Twenty four oh seven. With the twenty four oh seven motors, it's a, uh, it, it it just it just snaps into place. It's it's really impressive. It's it's uh, quite the machine. So yeah, I'm looking forward to flying that some more. <clears throat> By the time I got out yesterday, it was so late that uh, I could only do one battery through it. Uh, the actual rates in Betaflight 4.2 still feel amazing. Uh, I went up to 20, uh, from zero to a 25 value in the CLI of 4.2 for, so I've been stalling this whole time to try to think of the name of the uh, command. It's one of the idle commands, idle, uh, digit, uh, fucker. It's, um, uh, li uh, linearity, uh, throttle, throttle linearity. Uh, I went up to 25 on that, and that made the, uh, it made the bobble a little bit better, I will admit. The, uh, the full throttle, the, the full throttle to zero throttle, chop it all at once, bobble, uh, for sure got better. But still not quite there. Still not there. And for the record, leader, you better be calling him butt grinder in the in the funny way, not in the mean way. Because DJ is a good dude, a really really good dude. Um, all right, here we go. 
just a just a person that really fights and and really works hard and has been through some serious fucking shit and uh, has very difficult mental illness issues that I can understand um, chooses to get through it not with the farmer route which I again totally understand um, but yeah it just has uh, just busted his ass for everything okay so I took these off because I'm gonna reuse them and I think I'm gonna put them onto this fella here so I want these guys on well I'm an idiot and I got them all mixed up now I don't know which one goes <laughs> now I don't know like which one was the middle one which one was the right one in theory, their lengths can tell me part of the story. Okay. So, they're all the same length. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not. This is the longest. This is the second longest. This is the shortest. And so, how does it work? So, this one has to come all the way over there. So, it's the long. So, the longest is always on the outside. Okay. Longest is on the outside. Oh, fuck. Which one did I say was longest? Was it the one on the left? I think it was. Yeah, yeah. One on the left is the longest. So that one goes there. Longest goes there, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, yes, these are the Tiny's LEDs uh, official race wires. And... They don't have the pad staggered, which is the only negative. It was, it was like the only the only thing the Pyrodrone ones have going for them over these is that the uh, the pads are staggered. But uh, these are smaller, and I feel good supporting the originator. God damn it! What? I'm fine. Okay. Hey, now we're talking. All right, we got one. I'm going to do this big, tall bastard to flatten it out. Save time. Why bother spending the time to flatten it out and then solder it when you can flatten it out while you're soldering it, right? And the last one here. Come on. Uh, the first one looks a little high. Just, now it's flat. And the third one's flat, too. Not quite flat enough, though. Let's make that a little better. We can do better than that. Come on. I don't do this trick often enough. I do like it. Grabbing all three of them, and then they'll all just kind of naturally hold together. Yeah, you fucker. There we go. That's what I want. Phone's going off. Let's see who it is. Ah, cool. Might have a guest visitor on the stream end of the week. We'll see. Okay, let me get uh, shrink wrap on this before I forget. Because I will certainly forget. Kind of my thing. Hey, Marley Leppo with 20 Norwegian Kroner. What's up? Be careful. Don't bridge the pads. Even if I do bridge them, I'll just fix them. So it's all good. Much appreciated. Marley, hope you're doing well. Hope you've got a, got big plans for this weekend. I do not. Not sure I do. I'm going to, I'm going to stream and hang out with all you awesome people. That's all the fucking plans I need, man. 
Okay. Let's get this guy shrunk down here. Uh, my lighter's gone. Let me grab it. Hold on. Thank you. If it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you for coming. Taking part in the Ciati experience, for better or worse. Uh, there's links down below to some fun stuff, some affiliate links if you uh, like what I'm doing here and want to support it. They don't cost you anything. Uh, the Bitly ones go to GetFPV. And then there's some BG ones that go to Banggood, and then there's some AMZN ones that go to Amazon. So if you're doing an order on any one of those sites, and before you get to the checkout, you hit one of my links. You don't even have to buy what the link is. If you just hit the link, drops my info in there, and then I get a little 0.6% or something of that order. And uh, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it really does... Um, it really does make a difference. And I appreciate it more than you know. But if you forget, that's okay too. I always forget. Can't fault anybody for making the same mistakes that I do all the time. Eh. Uh, we're on Discord. I don't go on there much. Most importantly, we're over on Patreon. That's where all the good stuff is happening. Lots of tuning guides, unreleased stuff. Help with filtering, help with PIDs. All kinds of shit going on over there. Get on over and... Eh. and start getting your rigs tuned better. Especially micros, because my god, they're a pain in the ass to tune. Okay, get on there, you little rat. Close enough. Uh, what are the black posts on the soldering pad, Athic says? What soldering pad? This? Oh. Uh, this is the first one that... Um, so they're the, the little army jobbers um my buddy was using this and he grabbed it by here and and went to twist the arm and this metal is like super thin and it just broke the metal um so i ended up buying another one and uh i'm super glad i bought another one because i love using this as just a little wood block like it, it just it's just the perfect little little like wood block um for sitting in this exact spot and not melting through the uh, the cutting pad and it also has a little edge I like to like sometimes when I when I tin wires I'll just hang them off the edge like that and pull the, the soldering iron up underneath them it's just nice to have a little, little chunk of wood it's such a simple thing but it's uh, it's like weirdly amazing super useful alright so now you guys get to see me struggle with getting course of course when I call it out everything's fine immediately never mind I'm not struggling with anything everything's fine all right banana pants that guy's on there and now I gotta do it all over again get off of there get off of there okay all right. Uh, I, I'm also on the. Uh, so I flew the. Uh, I flew the hammer the other day, and it was really dark. And that was the first rig I've ever put LEDs on the front arms. I've always been worried about it lighting the front props up too much and uh, um, causing the camera to to have a heart attack at night. And it didn't. So I'm gonna put. LEDs on the front and rear arms of this one as well, which is making a little bit of a little bit more work right now. But eh, I just love the LED thing, man. It just looks so goddamn cool. Sorry, but I'm a ten-year-old at heart. It's uh, you know the other thing too, right? 
I, uh, kind of perfect example of this. I got it, uh, so I always do, not always, but usually do, um, the, the race wires, uh, the LED race wires, as well as a, uh, a simple Tiny's LEDs, uh, just powered by VBAT, little triple LED, uh, this little guy. I'm sure you guys have seen a million times. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I also do one of these just off the battery pads, just somewhere. A lot of times it's on the bottom and the rear. Um, uh, on the hammer, I put it on the inside and the front. And uh, I got my shit stuck in a tree. And it was jo like hilariously easy to find because there was this big-ass purple LED on the inside of the frame lighting the whole fucking thing up. So it was... Um, just one of those, like, kind of, right, this is why I put LEDs on my shit. Like, it, they're just little, little things you'd kind of never think of, but that it does actually make a little bit easier. Like, it, there's, go figure, there's, like, an actual reason for it. Um, like a deal breaker, but, you know. Uh, Upmost Beast. I know you like the RCX 1304s, but I'm sticking to 3S, so I'm looking at the Spintech 1304s. Have you ever tried them? I have not tried them, um, Beast, but I have heard that they're really, really good. Um, if you want to be absolutely certain, you can just order one, although the shipping would probably kill you. Um, but yeah, I've, I've heard from people that I trust that they're really good, so you should be good to go on those. Um, what do they make? A, do they make like a 6,000 KV? 5,000 KV is not enough for you, I'm guessing? And I'll, I'll actually have more info on that uh, once this Tiny Trainer build is done. Um, because I'm going to run that on the 5,000s on 3S and see how it is. Um, but that is a little bit lighter of a build than, than I'm used to, so... All right, just wanted to clean that one up. Uh, get this out of here. We need one more uh, race wire, and I guess it's stuck to the motor. Yeah, there it is. Uh, is this too long? Yeah, they're all just like a little bit too long. They hit right into the the fucking joint of the glip flop. Come on, man. Really? God, it's so they're so close to being okay, but just not quite. Just not. Quite there, man. So close, though. Okay, let's get this guy desoldered. So I can do this real fast. Mm, whoosh! Look at that. I usually avoid doing shit like that because I'm always worried it's going to push too hard on the pads, but sometimes you just got to go for it. Get in there. Get it off. God. Get. There it is. All right. Is there enough solder on these pads? Survey says. Yeah. Be all right. Okay. These are worthless. And soldered together. Uh, Polly Lee says, good night. Good night. A question. Problem with my iFlight Cinema 4S hot motors. Uh, what can the problem be? Thanks in advance. Paulie Lee, a lot of the, the Cinewoops um, just kind of really get the motors hot. Um, I, I actually talked to uh, Orda and um, Drew at Rotoride about that uh, on their builds, uh, their custom builds with the T Motor 1507s. And they were like, yeah, they get real hot. <laughs> um, so. 6S might help a little bit, but I mean, what we need to understand is that we're asking a whole hell of a lot from a very small metal can. Uh, so, I mean, there is a limit. Like, like some of these Cinewoops are like 600 plus grams. Like, Jesus Christ, that's that's too many grams. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, there, there's just a limit. There, there's a limit to how much heat that a tiny little motor can can shed uh 
and with these really heavy cine whoops, I think we've found that limit, uh, and I think you're going to start to see bigger motors coming out. I mean, you've we've already got the Emacs 1606, which is an option. Uh, somebody just came out with a 1607. Uh, there's an 1804 that exists that I'm actually really interested in. Uh, so yeah, there's there's some some shit going on. Uh, my guess is going to be though that it's just a uh, yeah. I mean, you you can try dropping the pids down, increasing the filtering, stuff like that. But just uh, like I said, keep in mind that you could just be running up against a uh, physical limitation, right? Like just it's just physically uh, um, not able to shed more heat than it already is. Shortest, longest, second longest. And so that means this is going to be facing this way. So I want the longest to be on the right. There and there. Okay. Okay, and the shortest one is jacked up. So we're going to replace it. It's all fucked up. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, fuck. So much of this is exposed. I've never seen anything like it. Just woke up. Good morning from Australia. What's up, Cage? How are you? What's up, little Cage? Uh, okay. Let me just tin this off camera real quick. Oh, what am I saying? Tilt it upwards, you goofball. There we go. Alright, trying to get that lead free solder up out of there. That should be good. That should have pulled some of it out. So we're going farthest left. Trying not to push down and flatten the wires out. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good run. Let's see if I can flatten this one out. It's all talled up. It's a tall boy. Come on, tall boy. Oh, now you guys can't see down here. No, 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 I gotta go in hot and wet. Where's, uh, alright, we're going in just hot, we can't have that. Can't be doing that anymore. Made a promise. Made a promise to a friend. Wouldn't go in hot and wet anymore. Or, wouldn't go in just hot, hot and dry anymore. Hot and wet only. There we go. Going in. Ugh, I wasn't quite wet enough, I think. Oh, and this wire's getting hot. It's too short. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ooh, it's starting to hurt, starting to hurt, starting to hurt. Feel the burn. Right, I actually do have to push that one down. It's it's just being a little jank a lot of puss. I just need to clean the tip of this fucking soldering iron. Eh. Not bad. It didn't chase, so... There we go. Clean. Clean. Okay, looking for anywhere that the wire could have just rubbed through, and we're good. Ow! Touched that wire, and it is still hot. Stop moving around. Just stay in one spot. I don't want to have to tape you down. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Well, actually, that's what he said to her, I guess. It would be the horrible reality. Come on. Be better than that. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just gonna cut that piece off. Everything will be cool. I don't know. That didn't work at all. <laughs> fine whatever it's fine moving on 
Uh, let's get another little piece of shrink. Hey, look at that. That's just about perfect. Shrink it up, shrink it out. Will you look at that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like blue tech because it gets really, um, <laughs> just give you guys a yeah, yeah, yeah at first. Um, it gets all liquidy and mushy and, and then it just fucking gets all over the place and it just drives me crazy. So, it's usually, usually these have, um, uh, uh, what's this stuff called? Double-sided tape on the bottom, so they, they usually stick, uh, to the wood really nice, but I, um, they don't right now. So there's that. But yeah, I was a, uh, I was a blue tack guy. I actually had white blue tack, and, uh, I used that for, a, for, like, years, and then, um, just like as I got better, I, I started using it less and less. And as I started getting more and more frustrated with it melting and strands of white blue tack getting all over everything, I was like, all right, enough of this. Enough! <laughs> I have to redo that last wire. It, it, it's just atrocious. Mm, clean it. this down and redo that last one. There's a hot jam right here. Saving this one. Use your skills. Oh, leader buck. Yeah, I know I would, dude. I know I would, but um, I, the, to get a, I mean, to get a computer able to run it and then to build a sim rig is, is I mean, maybe 10 years from now, <laughs> um, but I, I won't be in a place financially to be able to do that in a hot minute, so. Yeah, that's not a, that's not an iRacing rig, though. That's just a simple little kind of setup. All right, let's zoom this out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, Steel just got done building a rig, though, um, and invited me over to, uh, to check it out. Um, so, yeah, just waiting for, uh, waiting for him to shoot me a text when, if there's a, when and if there's a, uh, a good day to do that, because I would love to check that shit out. I've been watching a ton of Jimmy Broadbent lately, and Super GT, and kind of, sort of, not getting back into it, but just, um, it, I, I'd, I'd been away for long enough where I'm uh, starting to forget stuff and, and just generally uh, not, I don't know, I like to at least kind of keep track of the trends a little bit, or like when, when big things happen to hopefully kind of know about it a little bit. <clears throat> but cars are a very expensive hobby, and uh, I, I was lucky enough to spend... A bunch of years uh, making enough money <clears throat> to pursue that and a lot of people don't even get to do that so uh, yeah I just try to be gracious and uh, appreciative that I had that opportunity and now I have other amazing opportunities one of which is hanging out with you goddamn mutants all day, every day. <laughs> which I wouldn't give up for the world. Where are those skinny tweezers? Get in here, skinny tweezers, and chop these wires by accident. <laughs> when I first got these tweezers, they're so sharp at the ends. Um, and I was used to using, like, an amount of force for, like, blunted uh, tweezers. And like I was, I was just cranking on these thin tweezers, and I'm like, all of a sudden, all the silicone has cuts in it. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, where 
all my what all my motor wires have these like perfectly um <laughs> vertical cuts in them right up by where the solder joints are <laughs> that's because i was just squeezing so hard with these stupid skinny little tips they were pushing right through the uh right through the silicone <laughs> I was like, oh great, at least I'm not an asshole. <clears throat> we live and we learn. Josh with a $10 super chat. Dude, thank you, Josh. Keep doing UC Audio. I really enjoy what you've created here, man. Thanks, man. And that's, uh, yeah, that's super, super cool of you. Um, I, I joke about it all the time, but it's, it's kind of true. Like, I, I don't necessarily know what we have created, um, but... I love whatever it is, and uh, it's always awesome to hear that there are people out there that do too, um, because there are days that I don't want to do this stuff, there are days that I just want to curl up in a ball and die. <laughs> uh, you thought I was going to go with curl up on a couch, huh? Nope. Not how it works with mental illness. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, having people who a appreciate it and b kind of like rely on it to some extent um is really really neat and I, I really i don't take that lightly and uh to then have people willing to spend their hard money to to help me build this into something is just that much cooler um because I have been kind of sort of trying to build this for many, many years. Um, not this per se, but like build something around micros that would allow us to uh, test them a little bit better and find some better combinations of parts. And um, I think we've finally kind of gotten there. And uh, yeah, it's cool for that to actually be a thing that might exist. And it's also cool that there's other people, like, when when, uh, when Kebab was was asking me all these micro questions two years ago, I was so excited. I'm like, oh my god, finally, like, somebody who does real testing and, and it's, it's going to be able to uh, throw some time, effort, and cashish at this. Uh, and my god, he has not let me down, man. He, is <laughs> he has pushed the micro thing farther than... Uh, than I could have ever imagined. And, uh, yeah. I mean, that's why... That's why <clears throat> open source stuff works, right? Like, I could have been a dick. I'd just been like, nah, man. I don't want to give you all my secrets. I've, uh, I've worked on these secrets for two years. They're my secrets. No. You gotta pay me for them. Um, but that's stupid. Share with others. Share, yo share or I'll attack you. Your choice. Build up my little thing. Look at that. Oh, it's all filled with garbage. Now I can dump it out. Uh, Christ. Uh, Free Lego says, is epoxy coat on the glide arms? Is that epoxy coat on the glide arms? Uh, no, it is this really cool color changing spray paint that's also really expensive. It's $20 a can. Uh, but <clears throat> what I will say is that one can was enough to spray like five or six frames. Uh, it doesn't hold up all that well. It does come off. But, I mean, that's to be expected. Nothing's going to hold up well that we fire at concrete at 80 miles an hour. So, for what it is, it's not bad. But just have... Realistic, as long as you have realistic expectations, I'll say that. Um, yeah, I am going to cut these down a little bit. These ones are, like, for real a little bit too long. Yeah, it was cool stuff. It, it was really neat when, uh, when, the, oh, okay, so here, 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 hold on. I got you guys. I got you guys. It's this. It's these. So I'll show you guys all the time. This is one of the ones that hasn't been flown yet, and it's still kind of sort of coming off in spots. But yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. It's this purple to blue color change that like looks so cool against these purple 
um, and the blue standoff. And I have a zoot frame here with it as well. Yeah, it's a really neat spray paint. I forget who it's made by. It might be Rust-Oleum. But if you want it, just go to a uh, car store. Oh, God, no. No, it doesn't strengthen it off Reload, Joe. It just cracks immediately. It's uh, there's, there's no benefit whatsoever. I'm, I'm actually curious as to how much it weighs. Um, <clears throat> because it does weigh something. And, uh, yeah. I mean, the can was a lot heavier when it was filled. And I sprayed it onto frames, so it, it definitely added weight. I, I have a feeling it's not, not much though. But it was that was like a funny thought when I was doing it to be like, "Shit, I'm adding weight. What am I doing? Get your vanity under control, Siati. Moron. <laughs> you idiot. Okay, so." Once we get these motors on here, all I really really need to do is get the capacitor on. Uh, I need to check the pin layout of the 20 by 20 versus the 30 by 30 to see if they're the same. Uh, and I need to fix this um, little JST connector connector up front. Uh, we've been going f what an hour and a half. Jesus, oh my God. Oh yeah, the bike inner tube trick. I've heard about that, Apex. Yeah, that supposedly works really well. It's heavy though, isn't it? I, I remember reading about it and being like, eh, and then like not too long after, I picked up a a uh, the inner tube for a bike tire. I was like, holy fuck, this is heavy ass rubber. I wonder how much they weigh. I mean, I would think not more than like a gram or two, right? But at the same time, grams make ounces, ounces make pounds. So that's the lightweight saying in motorsports: is grams make it so you can. It's it's easy to find grams. So initially, when you're when you're building a race car, it's easy to find pounds. You find you find pounds worth of stuff to remove uh, to lighten, and then. Eventually, you stop finding things that weigh pounds, and you can only find shit that weighs ounces. So the same comes ounces weigh... Ounces make pounds. Um, Mazda started the saying... Uh, well, they, 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 their internal saying was that uh, grams make ounces, and the, the external marketing... Uh, I hate to say the word, but I can't think of a better word for it. Um, and the word is platform. Was uh, the the gram approach, and it, it was exactly that. Like where they they go over every part of the car, and if they can save grams, they save grams because grams make ounces. And uh, the new Miata, the ND fourth gen Miata, is such a great example of that. Um, in that. There are just a million little tiny things that they did to, to save weight. And they managed to build a car that is lighter than the one it replaced. Which, I'm betting no one has done that in 20 years. If not longer. Like, other than some crazy hypercar shit. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It makes a humongous difference. The one of the biggest reasons that I am so uh, smitten with Miatas and and just like there's nothing like them is just from a weight standpoint. There's just nothing that's that light. Um, there is, but not for um, money that that I can afford. And. Uh, even compared to like a BRZ or an 86, whatever you want to call it, um, there's a big weight difference. There's like a four or 500 pound weight difference. Um, and the BRZ is considered a very light car. And realistically, it's a two-seater. Like the back seats are not real. They, they, they're not, they don't exist. I mean, they exist, but they're a shelf to put stuff on. And... Miatas also have a shelf. It's a little higher up, 
below the rear window, but the shelf. Um, but yeah, my my NB is roughly 2,100 pounds, and just like that alone, it, it's just a total game changer. Like having having something that's that light just changes everything for in in such a in such good ways too and yeah driving heavier cars even like 3600 pound cars they just feel fat and uh, and dull and and not not responsive and all these other things things man things what is that? Tell me that's not wire sticking through. No, it's not. It's paint. Good, good, good. Uh, oh, Daniel, I did. I did. I did. Daniel Maurer, huge shout out. I was waiting for you to come in here. I, I, I saw you in here earlier, but it didn't, uh, it didn't click. Daniel Maurer uh, uh, donating to the cause. Hold on a second. I got a drink. Coming through with a brand new... Acrobrat V1. I thought you just had the frame, um, but that's a that's a brand new Acrobrat V1 with all the hardware and everything. All I really need is the frame and the side plates. So if any of you guys have uh, V1 Acrobrats and you need the hardware or the rubber grommets or anything else, anything other than the base plate and the side plates, really, um, let me know. Uh, and then a uh, ugh, a tiny move frame with hands down. The coolest goddamn motors that have ever been made in this hobby that I've always been so jealous of and I, and I always really wanted to run but then I stopped building tiny whoops for a long time. These are the newbie drone uh, unicorn unicorn like 10 gazillion KV motors. Um, so these will be a part of the uh, the motor mayhem um, chaos that we got going on. Thank you Daniel. Much 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 appreciated. You are a kind, generous, caring, giving person. And for that, you should be held on a... I don't know. <laughs> Marley Leppo with 20 kroner, Volkswagen Rabbit with a VR6 and Synchro drivetrain. What's the Synchro drivetrain? Is that just their all... Uh, the... Um, oh, what do they call it? Um... So they're full-time all-wheel drive. Uh, God damn it, I forget their name for it. Quattro. Isn't that just Quattro? Is Quattro the same thing as Synchro? Synchro is usually a word I, I uh, associate with Synchro mesh transmissions. Manual transmissions that you don't have to double clutch, double declutch. For all the Europeans that are up late. Double declutch. That's a little better. That looks a little nicer, doesn't it? Okay. Let's get these fellas going. No, 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 no. Let's put some screws in these motors first. That's important. Foe by foe. Kinda. <laughs> oh, nice, Big Willie. I had a... Uh... I had a 96 forever. I had a 96 Cobra convertible. That's like <laughs> like half of my YouTube channel is, is filled up with Mustang Cobra videos from 10 years ago. Um, yeah, that's what got me into autocrossing and then eventually, um, well, initially drag racing and then all, all their nonsense, whatever. But uh, that car was... Um, that car was 3,600 pounds, and uh, that's a lot of meat and potatoes. A lot of meat, a lot of potatoes. It, it took a lot of front tire to get front end grip in that car. It took uh, a 295 width front tire to even begin getting enough front end grip in that car. Um, the plan was eventually to go up to 315 fronts, but man, what a fucking pain in the ass to daily drive a car with 
I mean, even when I was on 275s before I went to the 285s, it was such a goddamn nightmare to drive on the street. Just the, the tram lining with um, with tires that are that wide is... is uh, <laughs> it just murder. Um, had to, unfortunately, part ways with that car when we left Charleston. Uh, I basically let it sit for too long, and it just rusted into the goddamn dirt. But, that's over now, and we've moved on, and maybe someday I'll get another Mustang. Who knows? Come on, get off of there. For anyone keeping score, yes, this is the, the double-sided tape that I just put on. That... It ripped in the middle. It didn't rip at the adhesive point. It ripped right down the middle, so I can't restick it. So now I get to use another piece. Happy days are here again, and that that's kind of fine because it, it is going to get held down by a um, a zip tie, and I'm mainly putting the, uh, the double sided there as a just like as a barrier, like an insulator. To raise it up a little bit so maybe I'll do that maybe I'll just um, there is a tiny little bit of it that looks like it's still sticky yeah it's good enough it's like I said it's gonna get zip tied down here so it'll be fine um, man I redid this joint and it's still fucking jaggedy as shit I don't like when they're jaggedy because I'm afraid they're gonna get hung up on the uh, on the zip ties that I put here Another thing that I like about the uh, the tiny LED ones is they put this little spot here for these three contacts so that you can uh, run 30 gauge leads around the bottom of the arm um, for a second set of these. But I use it for the um, for the zip ties that hold on the uh, that hold on the uh, the foam fetuses on the bottom there. Daniel's out of here. Be good, man. Hit him with a file. Ugh, I don't want all that. I don't want to file off all that uh, conductive solder. Isn't that a bad idea? I prefer these guys. I just chop it and make sure I see where the little solder ball that I'm cutting off goes and then keep it under control. Uh, okay, so we've there's a big fucking log jam on this side. What the hell happened with the length of these? Okay, this is a... That's right. You heard it here first. This is a fuck. Okay, let's let's just start fixing this. Nine o'clock. All right. Gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this tonight. I gotta be honest with you guys. We've been up for a while already, and uh, I do want to watch. Season 3, Episode 2 of Westworld tonight. Uh, so since we got through Ozark, uh, and since I believe by the time we watch all of these, um, I think that by the time we're done watching, we're, we're towards the end of Westworld, the, the last episodes will be up. So I don't think we'll have to, I don't, I, I hate waiting a week for for the next episode of a show. It, it's just, I would so much rather watch um, a couple at a time. Uh, you know, like if, if we have a little bit extra time, we'll, we can watch two at a night. Like, that's really nice. That, that uh, I really like being able to do that. So, yeah, that's what we're doing with West. What the hell? Why? What? How did I get this so wrong? The fuck? I mean, like, this is way off. What did I cut? What fucking pad did I cut this for? Certainly not this one. Jesus. Great, let's just do it again. That was a... That was a weird one. Okay. And again. And... Eh. Tin it 
again. What do you guys think of these jams? Not bad, right? Not bad for royalty-free music. I've uh, I've already found two that to me are good enough for actual edits, so that'll be cool. That'll be two edits at some point here that can be monetized. Which I like. Which is a thing that I like. Um, I really love that this is on Spotify though. That that's the the real good news. Um, it really makes the 12 bucks a month or whatever the hell it is that I pay for Spotify uh, worth it. That I can get royalty free music from them. Uh, the I don't know how I'm going to download it per se. Like hopefully I can find this stuff on SoundCloud. But I'll deal with that when I need to. I'll cross that bridge when, when it arrives. Oh yeah, here we go. We're gonna solder. Ooh, get in there. Come on, little fella. Yeah. Good job. Good job, wire. You've been retained. Uh, so this one is almost right, but man, just not quite. You piece of shit. Um, I'm so tempted to just stick it on there. Everybody see the, uh, the fucking asshole drone pilot in Detroit that was, like, pretty much dead in the flight path of the Blue Angels? Like... 100 feet off, 100 feet to the left, and uh, one of the Blue Angels would have gone down in downtown Detroit. And I would probably not be streaming because it would feel illegal to be streaming right now. Uh, if you search for Detroit Drone, I think, on YouTube, you can find it. It's not good. Not fucking good. It's the kind of shit that will, unfortunately, I, I will use the word will, uh, ruin this for us. And of course, it's these assholes. It, it's these know-nothing assholes. See, that's the other thing, too. Like, I, I, I think we're being a little hard on ourselves that, that this shit's all our fault with the FAA. It's not our fault. None of this is our fault. We're, the, the, like, it, it's the commercial drone people's fault. But, not commercial drone. It's, it's, you guys know what I mean. Um... And there's nothing we can do about that. Like, uh, there's just nothing we can do about it. Like, we, we did, we, and we already have, and we have been, and, and whatever. Like, we're doing what we can, but uh, the, it's just not going to happen. It, it, the, the, some asshole is going to put a fucking Mavic into the engine of a 747 over a, a city, and that's going to be that. Um, so, yeah, the, the blaming the... FAA shit on Rotorite is, is also kind of insane in that respect to me. But we will enjoy it for as long as we can. Am I right, guys? That's kind of where I'm at with it. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty shocked, actually, that it's <laughs> that it's not illegal already. Um, but yeah, unfortunately... Things that fly via remote control up with planes um, is just something that can't be easily available. It, it has to be... The, the Mavics would have to go away. Just someone's ability to just get one of those things and put it up in the sky with no regard to human life or common sense or... Um, anything, like, it's, it's just, yeah, not gonna fly. Yeah, see what I did there? It's 
So I guess blame DJI if you want to blame anybody. But, I mean, I, I don't really understand blaming them either. They're... <laughs> like, the technology became available. They were the company that did it. Like, they didn't... I don't know what they could have done. I mean, I guess they could have just said, okay, we'll, we'll never release this to the general public, but that would kind of be insane. Um, it won't be the last time that all technology came about that the dipshits that we live with can't fucking handle. Yeah, this wire's fucked up. I'm really tempted to replace this wire. But I'm not gonna. Uh, Marley Lepo says, uh, the <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, but the footage was amazing. It was very, like, there was a moment where it was very, like, computer generated. It felt very computer generated because, like, you've never seen that before. Like, you've never seen stabilized footage of, of, uh, five... F-16s or whatever the hell they are. Um, I know they used to be F-18. Are they still F-18 Hornets? F-818 Hornets? There we go. Uh, yeah, there was a very surreal initial moment of like, holy shit. And then, but, but that very, for me at least, quickly turned to, oh, fuck. Here we go. All right, yet again, this inner one is... Just a bit outside. Just a bit too short. Well, this is the last inner one that I'm having to shorten, so that's good. It's funny how the, the mundane shit like this just takes so long. It, like, this whole, like, oh yeah, I could do a build in an hour. Like, get the fuck out of here. Sorry, but like... And I mean, if you can, that's, that's amazing, but... Not with all this. Not with, with cutting and shortening and, like... God damn. It does take some fucking time, man. And, like, it never doesn't take time. <laughs> like, there's... If, if there was a point where it could be take an hour, believe me, I would be there. Um, it just doesn't, man. It is a time-consuming thing. With many opportunities for failure. <laughs> Shit. There we go. Just kind of flattened out a little bit more than I wanted. It's the one thing you have to really be careful of on these. Is not pushing down um, so hard. Oh, I'm sure the jet wash had a huge effect on it, but um, it's on that three-axis gimbal. Uh... Oh, shit. Cage, <laughs> Cage says, Bot Grinders pissed at you and UAV streaming right now over his gig. <laughs> Bot does have this uh, this time slot kind of locked up. I didn't even realize it. Is Shit, yeah, I guess today's Friday. Um, yeah, guys, go watch Bot for sure. I'm, I'm just... I'm just going to leave this up um, because I'm working on it. I, I want to get this as far as I can. Um, I am going to be off pretty soon. Uh, let's say hi to him now. Let's go over and say hello to Botsy. Come on, Internet. I'm sure he's got a zillion more people than I do anyway. Hold on. There he is. Say hello. <laughs> there he is. All right, let me kill uh, this for a second here. There he is, ducking down in his chair. <laughs>
Alright. There we go. Did you guys hear that? The fa the code is fan of bot. I don't know what the code's for. But just use the code anyway. Alright, we're gonna leave bot on for a little bit. <laughs> nice pesky. <laughs> Let me do this. We're going to split it up. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more. Let's get back to work. <laughs> All right. We're going to jam out to bots music for a bit here. Make sure we're respecting the other streamers. Make sure we're respecting the folks that have been doing this for longer than us, that we're stealing all their ideas. <laughs> Gots to respect the OGs, ladies and gentlemen. If not, you'll be beaten. The beatings will continue until morale improves. Okay, let's get this guy fucking <laughs> uh, tinned, tinned. We're going to tin this. That's what we're going to do. We're going to tin this. That's what we're doing here. We're hanging out with bot. We're tinning. Fixing glides, man. Uh... Okay, let's get this smacked down to the ESC, and we can move on to motor number two, which is going to be our last motor. And I cut this way too long, like way, way too long. Legitimately way too long is, is oh my god. Be fine. Better be fine. Oh God, cream cheese! There it is, popcorn cream cheese. All right. Let's do this. I gotta just take the edge off of this, cause so on this twenty by twenty econ, the the stacks are definitely closer together. Um, so you just gotta make sure that you take the edges off of everything. If if they try to do that thing where they sit. Uh, where they flatten out a little bit. So that's kind of what happened here. And I just wanted to get that edge off and a little tiny piece of solder came over here to hang out with this MOSFET, which I just took off of there. I'm sure you guys couldn't see that, but it was there. Trust me. Hey! Hey! Look at Josh being doing some contributing over on Bot's channel. Good on you, Josh. Hell yeah, man. Good stuff. Um, uh, Rob, I did one yesterday. Did it, it didn't get pulled down, did it? I played uh, MC Hammer 18 times on it, so there's a chance it got pulled down. I hope not, though. Um... Yeah, let me know. Let me know if, if yesterday's went away uh, so that I can not do anything because there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> this is Coach G's wrapping it up. Thank you, 
This guy is zippy, zip, zippy, zippity doo dah down. Man, I hope yesterday's stream didn't pull. We did some cool shit. I think. What did we do yesterday? You guys remember? I don't. Probably good though. Okay. Uh, eh, it's a little too tight, but too late now. Last one. Last one. Thank God. Yeah, we'll go outside to inside. No, we won't. We'll go inside to outside. Here. Why are these all so long? What? What is? What? It's like every. What? It's like every one of these is different. What is the deal? Why is it so off? This one is like the worst. This one is more off than any of the other ones were. What is that about? What is that about? To make fun of any strange inflections before you guys can. It's my secret. The mod grinder challenge coin. That's what we're doing now. Victor React Joe, what's up, homie? Thank you so much for that 420. The preferred donation I amount around that. $420. Thank you over so there. much. Um, and then this okay, guy's gonna this sit over here and kind of. No, oh, he's not too bad. The second one's okay. And then the third one. We're gonna do So let's go like that. All right. There we go. Let's. Ten. So, Briscoe made this. Go check out Briscoe's channel if you want to see the whole. Here we go. Woo! The remix is shit. Fatty has TV down payment on a fan. That's not Woo! a good idea. Fatty. That's not a bad idea, Fatty. I might want to uh, I might want to invest my ass in a fucking But I don't want the fan to like blow in a microphone, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to figure that out. Maybe get a little more quiet ones. I feel like we probably Oh Will Brown. Damn Will Brown with that fucking donut oh. job. Bless blessings from Will Brown. Thank you so much, my man. I appreciate that. Blessings Nicked. back to you. I hope you have Just a great fucking weekend flying. It'll be okay. Free Lojo said, I'd like to say it's better to be more off than more on. <laughs> uh, Big Taters hat, uh, if you have a 6S quad, 1700 kV motors, could you just switch? Uh, could you just switch with 1800 or even to that? Yeah, for sure. Um, you can even. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, they must have pulled Stream 11 down. God damn it. I'm an idiot. I knew I shouldn't have... Ah, that was so stupid of me. Uh, okay. Gone to the ether forever. Um, yes. You can, uh, you can always go up in KV, and it will, uh... And the PID loop will automatically, uh... Compensate is the word. So yeah, like, which is nice, because the only problem is when you try to go the other way. If, if you're running like a 2400, and then you put a 1600 on it, the 1600 is going to limit all the 2400s down. So the, basically, whatever the lowest KV, out of the four motors, whichever one is the lowest of the KVs, uh, that's, it, it's the, the PID loop is going to automatically bring the others down to that. And it does that 11 billion times a second. Come on, get in there. All right. Yeah, get in there. Ten. Ooh, that was a little scary one. See, it kind of flipped a little bit. That could have been. That could have been tragic, people. Here we go. Okay, 
last few wires. Alright, here we go. Get this going at an angle here. Get a little pushy. Next is the only one that was the right length, which makes no sense whatsoever, but I mean, can't really argue with the fact that they were of weird length, and this one is trying to bridge. <laughs> Talking shit to Black Render over there, I had to. No, I just have them up over there. I'm very excited about watching Okay, so this is this is getting a little ugly in here. And this is there's a fucking cut goddamn wire. Can, can this can we just Just <laughs> dice, please, <laughs> as Jack Frag says. Okay. There we go. Oh, God. A blobby of solder came over and got my shirt. There we go. Right, here we go again. <coughs> Placing wires. Alright. Even up the length. Chop it. Okay. There we go. There we go. Happening over on Bot's channel. <laughs> Come on, get off of that. Okay. <laughs> for you is gonna listen from the shower, but BH is going for the toilet. Going for the turdlet. <laughs> John Dyson says, can't beat the 80s. Nope, then we're going to be doing our guests, and then we're going to do the challenge. All right, let me see. Um, let me look at uh, episode 11. Let's see what the hell happened. Every single day, we will be doing a... We're going to be spotlight corner thing where... Let's see what happened, because I might be able to... If you want me to interview you, um, not fight it, but do a thing. Uh, videos. And live. What a great song. God damn. Uh, I mean, so they all have copyright clip. Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait, where is it? Did they... They, like, full-on deleted it? That's not normal. Did I stream yesterday? Yeah. Wow. Huh. Never seen that before. It's just full-on gone. Uh, let's go to copyright, see if there's anything in here. Agree and continue. 
Uh, matches. No. Removal requests. No. Wow, weird. Um. No shit. It's just fully gone. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I mean... <laughs> ah, here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Important notifications. May 14th. Uh, where the hell did it go? Oh, yeah, so this is it. Uh, visibility removed. Yeah, look at that. Uh, channel impact not affected, so no copyright strikes, which is normal. Um, but yeah, fucking full-blown remove. Look at that. Damn. Don't fuck with MC Hammer, guys. Not into it. Audio vi Oh. It's because I played the video. Oh, that was stupid. Yeah, it's because I put the, uh... It's because I put the music video down in the um, in the player. Well, now we know. Although it it hold on, let me let me try to dispute it. Um, you can usually dispute it without getting yelled at. Um, fair use is what I think I usually do. Um, yeah, look, it, it fast forwards right to it. That's funny. Uh, public domain. No, I'll do fair use. I'll do fair use. I think that's what I've done in the past. Uh, so this will bring it back up. And. Yeah. Sometimes when you do this, they, they just, they're just like, ah, fuck you, whatever. Uh, select type of fair use. Uh. I mean, we were kind of doing a commentary on it, right? Let's do commentary. We, we were doing commentary on it. Yeah. Um, live stream, which is not monetized. And this is what I always said. Uh, and just for fun. <laughs> not monetized, monetized. This is what I always used to do, and it would always work. Oh, farts. Alright, so we should be good. Well, I mean, not good, but... Unable to submit a claim dispute. Well, fuck you do. <laughs> Why would you let me... What? what? Um, no, ooh, educational video. We're, we're educational, right? Uh, please review the statements below and check the boxes to agree. Doesn't infringe on anyone's copyright. No... Understand the claim will review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filling fraudulent disputes may <laughs> result in termination of YouTube account. Well, yeah. Um, but it won't let me. Come on, man. What you you maybe do all these things? Provide rationale. It's called. Um. God damn it. Gone forever. Sorry, guys. Wasn't that good anyway, I guess. I don't understand why they won't let me submit, but... Um, uh, nothing I can really do about it. Ad revenue paid to copyright owner. See, this is what's supposed to happen. It's just supposed to to send the ad revenue to the... Weird. Weird, 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 weird that it removed it. Um, eh, sucks. Sucks. Look, <laughs> look what's going on over there. Oh my god. Jeez. Okay. Alright, we're gonna leave this on. Damn, dude. Come on, MC Hammer. Dropping the hammer. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking hater? God damn. Shitty ass fucking workout clothes, you jerk off. Douchebag. Alright, here we go. Um, 
Oh, look at that. I thought the Weller was going to have dropped the temperature way down, but it didn't. It knew I was coming back. Yeasty, boys. The yeastiest of the yeasty. If I ever had a rap group, we'd be called the Yeasty Boys. Talk about making bread a lot. In Philly. Talk about making bread in Philadelphia a lot. It'd be perfect. I bet you that's a real thing. What are, what, what, why would I think that's even a remotely original thought in my brain? I'm sure there's 10,000 Yeasty bands called Yeasty Boy. Uh, we know Day 11 happened, and Day 12 proves it. <laughs> Uh, BH sent me a picture on uh, Facebook. No rush. I know. It did have great build content, Rob. We, there was some good shit in that yesterday. But it's my own fucking fault, man. I, I, I shouldn't have been... Uh, so, I, I shouldn't be so fast and loose about it. Like, like full stop. Um, oh, the Zoom mic is on right now. Okay, well, we're gonna we're going to bail on... We hung out with Bot for a while. But we're going to come back here so that you guys can actually hear me. Um, what'd you send me, Brandon? I'm looking at it. Thank God I'm not looking at it on the stream. Where the hell did you find that? Don't, uh, don't get me in trouble. What idiot leaked that? <laughs> I know Shane, Sean, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, who the... Uh, the, the... The embargo date is like a ways off. It's twenty something. So somebody fucked up by putting that up. Posted on Tiny Hawk Two group. Interesting. Great. Now I told you guys all where to fucking find it. Um, but maybe this stream will get yanked down too. <laughs> all right. Let me. Let me. There's too many people talking at once. Let me get off of Bot's channel. And we will fire back up the royalty-free music so that we don't get knocked out again. Alright. <laughs> There's no proof now. This never happened. Bot's gonna, <laughs> Bot's gonna file a copyright strike on this stream. On this stream. <laughs> uh, that'd be a funny... That'd be a funny joke to, like... Not joke, but if... Uh, Oh, I'm sure it has happened. Like, streamers getting pissed off at each other, filing copyright claims on each other. Only imagine. Kind of a shit show that would be. Alright, let's get this going here. It's always hard to, to jump in and do the middle without fucking bridging the outsides, but we'll give it a shot here. Ooh, looks like we got away with it. Uh, I am a little suspect that this joint's going to be strong enough, though. Because I feel like... As I push down on this and it doesn't flatten out, I feel like there's a bunch of lead-free solder in there. Um, but that was a pretty good tug that I just gave it, and it was totally fine. So let's just keep going. Let's just leave it up to chance. We'll just, uh, yeah, what the hell. What could go wrong? It's not like we're flying through the air or anything. Okay, here we go. Trying to get this one up and nicely on the corner here. Getting a nice 45 degree angle going. I do that so that the insulation is all up on the other joint. Uh, the one that I just soldered. In hopes that it'll never... Ooh, although, I do see a stray little strand that is now no more. That was interesting. That kind of came out of nowhere. All right, last one. Be good, Rob. Thanks for hanging, brother. Okay, we're going to push this one over a little bit. I wish I'd push these over farther so that they were outside of the 
fucking thing, but it's, I did it on the other side. I did a good job on the other side, and I fucked it up on this side, but whatever. I'll break one of these front arms within a month, guaranteed. And sometimes when it breaks the arm, it takes the, uh, it takes everything with it. Right, let's go here. Come on. Get on there. Might not have enough solder. Let's see, though. We'll give it a shot. Ooh, we're good. And that's a good one. That silicone is exactly where I want it. I believe that might be the tail end of our soldering. If I could find the fucking 5X loop, I could confirm that, but it has disappeared. I found it. All right, let me see. Got to do this off camera so I can get close enough. Okay, fine. That is very close to bridging. Okay, I am going to clean that up. These are fine, though. All right, I got to clean up this middle pad on this one. I already cleaned it up a little bit, but I got to get it again. It's just, it's it's not, it's not bridged, but it's, it's kind of too close for comfort. Um, so to do this, all I do is come at it in at like a really crazy angle and just get heat on that one spot, let it melt a little bit, and pull up and out. And usually that will not disrupt too bad. Well, there we go. And we're good. Um, so what's left is capacitor, uh, LED on the bottom, this might, for all I know, just plug straight in, but now that I look at it, it's not gonna, because the plug is physically too big. Um, so I'm gonna bail. It's uh, it's 9.30, and I want to relax. I'm hungry. Uh, Brent asking if I've uh, tried the Tiny, Tiny Whoop Go sim yet. I have not. I don't spend a lot of time simming. If, if I'm gonna sit down at the computer, um, I try to edit either stills or video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Um, like I said at the beginning, this is just going to be a quick one today. Um, but uh, yeah, we got some shit done. We'll do the, uh, we'll throw the capacitor in here next time. And uh, we'll throw an LED on the bottom. And we will profit. Should I put a purple? Oh, 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 oh. One of the reasons I wanted to get these motors wired up is to see what color these uh, race wires are. So let's do that real fast. Uh, like I said, I think they're going to be all white, but we're about to know for sure in a second here. Uh, okay. There's a battery. We are going to do a smoke stopper because this is not a known quantity as to what's going to happen here. Okay. Hey, they're all white. Just as I thought. Cool. Cool. So we've got an all white, um, I guess I should go, this is like the red rig, everything is red on it, so I guess I'll go uh, red underneath with the LED rather than purple, which is good because red is a lot brighter, the red LEDs are a, a ton brighter than purple. Uh, so yeah, we'll do the capacitor, the red LED, put this one out of the way, and uh, I'm going to have to switch over the, the cable here. Uh, Big Tater says, when you're on PS4, can you join my community? I don't remember how to join communities anymore. It's been so long since I've done anything on a, on a PlayStation, but if I can figure it out, I will. Um, and then I need to switch this, um, I need to switch this connector out. It got, it got banged up somehow. I'm, I'm very confused as to how that happened, but kind of doesn't matter. So, thanks for hanging, guys. Um, it sucks that yesterday's stream went because it was way better than today's. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for day 11, uh, the YouTube police said, fuck you and shut it down, which sucks, but, uh, that is the chance that, that that's the, the game of chicken that you play with, uh, with words. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, sorry it was a whatever shit stream, but can't all be goddamn gold. 
I will uh, see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. And uh, you're going to have to share me tomorrow with flying. I'm gonna, I, I am going to go out and fly tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, huge shout out to uh, Tweet FPV. He sent over the um, red TPU printed stuff, uh, among which is uh, some red tiny trainer parts, uh, which should look kind of cool on there. Actually, I can probably just, like, half-ass mock it up real quick. Because I'm also curious as to what this is going to look like in red. It, it, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of worried. I, I think it might look terrible in red. <laughs> now that I thought more about it. Um, or it might look cool. But let's see. I haven't seen anybody do colored TPU on them. So if, if nothing else, it's a, uh, it's a little experiment. Alright, well, I can't get the camera to fit in there, but it'll basically look like that. And then the canopy will go on it like this. Get this camera out of the way. So the canopy will be like that. Get in there. Okay, so the canopy will be like that. No, that doesn't look bad. Looks kind of cool, I think. A little, little fin on it like that. That'll look alright, right? right? Yeah, a little red, with the red battery trail wrapped around the bottom like that. Should look kind of cool. We'll see it. I'll build it this weekend. Um, all right, good deal. So yeah, again, huge thanks to um, Tweet FPV. Dan is the man. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wear your masks. Don't be silly. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. Later.